Welcome to day 14 of 30 days of Photoshop. Today we're showing you how to use the type tool, including the brand new dynamic text to auto format your text for you. Hello and welcome back to 30 days of Photoshop. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're adding type to our image to create an advertisement and I'm gonna show you how to auto format using dynamic text. This is one of my favorite new features in Photoshop. Let's go ahead and jump in. So we're starting off with our type tool. Let's go ahead and hit T for our type tool. There we go. And as we do, we're gonna see our type options right up here at the top. You can choose your font, you can choose your font weight, you can choose your font size and even your alignment here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on our image. Let's go ahead and click here. All right, and we're gonna see that right now I'm right aligned. Let's go ahead and put this left aligned so I can actually see what I'm doing here. And I'm gonna type in explore. All right, I'm actually in caps lock right now. Let's make sure I'm not in that. I'm gonna say explore the unknown. There we go. And then click that little checkbox up there. Fantastic. So explore the unknown. Right now this looks pretty boring. Let's go ahead and open up our character menu so we can see even more options for our type. So we're gonna to go to window and we're gonna go down here to character, okay? Your character menu looks like this. Let's go ahead and move this over there. Now for this, I wanna do a couple of different things. Here you can choose things like your font, uh, your actual font choice. You can choose your font size. You can choose your font weight. You can also choose your letting, which is the spacing between each of your lines. And you can set your tracking, which is a space between each letter. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do, you could see you could turn on a fake bold or a fake italic. I'm gonna turn all caps on. There we go, explore the unknown looks pretty cool. The next thing I wanna do is, I like this in bold, but maybe we wanna keep unknown in bold. And I wanna go ahead and select where it says explore the, let's go ahead and click and drag there. I don't want that to be bold. Let's go ahead and click there and I'm gonna change this to regular. And you can see that by doing that, now I have different fonts within the same line, which is really cool. Explore the unknown. And let's put unknown on a new line. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this and hit enter and then explore the unknown is on a new line. Pretty cool. So already you can see we've done a lot. Now at this point, I can still use my different alignment options. So here we have in our contextual sign, uh, in our contextual taskbar, left align, center text and right align. It's also right up here. So right now I'm on left align. Let's go ahead on center text, okay? And when I clicked on center text, you're gonna be like, that does not look centered. Let's go ahead and select all the text because right now unknown was selected. Let's select all the text and then do this. So go ahead here in your text. If you wanna select everything, just hit Control Command A. It's gonna select all, all your text. And now we can center a line, okay? By the way, if you want to move your text while you're typing, right? I don't wanna to go to my move tool and then back to my type tool again. That's a big waste. If you wanna move this while you're creating it, because we often do, hold control or command and click and drag and you can actually move it because sometimes it just goes off screen. So you can see here we have, let's just click on that little checkbox by the way to commit this, okay? You can do left align, there we go, explore the unknown. You can do center of the line where it's all gonna be centered or you can do right align as well. Let's hold control or command and move that over there, fantastic. Now let's say we wanna do change the spacing in between either of our lines of text or our individual letters. To do that, here we're gonna go back into our character menu. Let's go ahead and click here. I'm gonna hit Control or Command A to select all. And now we're gonna go ahead and choose the spacing between our two lines. By default, it's gonna be set to auto. But you might think, hey, that's too much spacing. I don't want that. You can actually go to this little icon here and then click and drag to the left or the right. And look at this, as I do that, it's gonna go ahead and make this either larger or smaller. How cool is that? You can also just choose a number here, but I think it's way easier to click on this icon and move this to the left or the right, which is just gonna adjust your spacing between two lines. Now here you can adjust the spacing between your letters. So I can move that, there we go, and you can see each of the letters, you can make them either uh, <laughs> you know, expanded or contracted. There we go, let's just set this back to zero, which is going to be default, and then hit that checkbox right up there. So. All this, these are manual controls with our type, which I really like. There's a lot of really cool controls that we can do, but I wanna introduce you to the new dynamic text tool, which honestly just takes all of this stuff and kind of just does the work for you. And I'm a huge, huge fan. It's really easy to do. So to use dynamic text, the first thing I wanna do, let's just go ahead and put this all on one line again. I'm just gonna click right here. I'm gonna hit backspace and then just hit this space bar. 
Let's hit Control or Command and kind of move this right around there. Okay, so we have Explore the Unknown. Now, if I want to convert this to dynamic text, it's so easy to do. All you have to do is click right here on your dynamic text option. And as soon as I do, you're going to see not a huge change right now. But if I click here inside of my text box, you can see I have my blinking cursor. Now I have dynamic text is turned on. You can see here in my, uh, my layers panel, dynamic text is turned on. Now, if I take this bounding box here, okay, and I start changing the size of my bounding box, it's going to change my dynamic text to fit the bounding box, okay? So let's go ahead and say explore the unknown, and then I'm just gonna type in, there we go, I'm gonna hit space, and we're gonna say ocean today. There we go. So now I'm just writing a little bit more words. Explore the unknown open ocean today. Let's go ahead and click on open ocean today. I'm just gonna select that by clicking and dragging that, and that's going to be back to regular, okay. So explore the unknown open ocean today. Let's hit this checkbox right up there. Don't forget it anytime if you wanna move this, hold control or command and you can move this around. Okay, we have more words now. This is gonna be really great for showing you dynamic text. So it's still dynamic text. You can see right now we have a little lightning bolt option. So let's go ahead and click inside of our text. And when we do, we have our text box. So let's say we decide to make this tall and thin. Look at this, it changes the font size and each of the words are now on their own line. But as I change this and move it out a little bit farther today, there we go, you can see now all the way to one line, if I move this, you can see, let's just move this over there. If I have this basically just the width of one line, all of this is gonna be on one line. But as I bring this a little bit uh, lower, just like this, fantastic, it's gonna completely change my dynamic text to fit my text box. So you can just type in whatever you want. There we go. And get it to look basically doing all of this work for you. This is a brand new feature in Photoshop. Hold control or command to move that around, by the way. This is a brand new feature in Photoshop that I absolutely love because usually like we used to just have to do all this stuff manually and it's kind of difficult because like explore and then you had to go and make the really big and make sure it aligned perfectly to the left and to the right and then unknown and all this stuff. But now with dynamic text, you can just kind of resize it and it looks amazing. So I love this. Let's go ahead and hit that checkbox right up there at the top. Now we talked about putting this type behind our fish. This is actually really easy to do. I'm gonna just like temporarily make this layer invisible. And we're gonna go to our background layer. Okay, let's go ahead and close up our character menu. We don't need that. So clicking on our background layer, we're gonna go to select and we're gonna go down to color range. And we're gonna go ahead and click here on the color range of our ocean. So we're selecting the color range of our ocean. Now here in your selection preview, yours might be set to none. I like to set mine to grayscale so I can see what I'm doing. And you can change fuzziness to select more or less. So let's go ahead and just bring this right up. Something like that looks pretty good. I'm loving that. So this is basically just going to make a selection of the blue background, the ocean. Let's go ahead and turn our type on. We're just gonna turn this type on. And now what we're gonna do is click on our layer mask. So we have our dynamic text on. Let's click here on our layer mask icon. Boom. And when you do, you're gonna see now it layer masks out all of those fish. Now what's cool here is we have our dynamic text layer. We have our layer mask. By default, they're chain linked together which means that if I move one, the other one's gonna move two, and it kind of destroys that cool effect, right? So let's hit undo. We're gonna click on this chain link, which is gonna unlink them. And now I can move my dynamic text and it's gonna stay behind our fish. Not only that, but if I hit T for my type tool and click here, I can change my formatting of my dynamic text. Don't forget, hold control or command and move this. And anything that I do is going to stay there we go. It's going to stay behind our fish, which I just think is so much fun. Let's go ahead. I think this one works really, really well. Let's go ahead and put that right over there. You can still read it. It's so much fun. We have explore the unknown open ocean today, and it's behind our fish. So we have our type as well as our text box, and you can change these settings at any point in time. So I could still go ahead, you know, if I wanted to go we'll click on explore and just highlight that. And let's say I wanted to make that Hmm, I want to make that italic. Boom, we can just do that and then hit that checkbox at any point in time. So dynamic text is just as editable as regular text, but it does all of your formatting for you and just makes the job so much easier.
easier. So the next time you want to try adding type to your image, be sure to check out dynamic text. I love this feature and to make it look a little bit more high end, do some selection stuff and put some of your text behind objects in your photograph. I just think it's a fantastic feature in Photoshop. It's not too difficult to do. In this case, we made the fish look like they're in front of the words. It's just a little fun thing that I think Photoshop allows us to do. Makes your image look a little bit more high end. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow for the rest of our series on 30 days of Photoshop. Bye everyone.